On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we take a no-tour tour of Mesa Verde National Park, which has the largest concentration of ancestral Puebloan dwellings in North America. Join us on this little adventure, and please give a like and subscribe for future adventures. Mesa Verde was inhabited by the ancestral Puebloans for more than 700 years, up to around 1300 AD. Most of that time, they lived on top of the Mesa, but it was their final century in this region that they built their cliff dwellings, which is what we primarily came to see. Unfortunately, with the ongoing pandemic, the park was running no tours into the actual dwellings, so we were limited to the overlooks. Well, folks, we are at Mesa Verde National Park. I have always wanted to visit Mesa Verde. I've always wanted to go down and see the uh, cool cliff dwellings and everything up close. But that's not going to happen this time. Thanks to the whole pandemic thing, most of this park is shut down. There's literally only two trails, apparently, that are open for visitation. So we're hoping that they're not completely bombarded with people so that we can check out what little we can see today. We're on the Cliff Palace Trail. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to be or not, but there's other people going down here. So I assume there's a viewpoint. So if tours were operating, they would take you down that way, through the rock, and down into canyon to actually see it. Not a place to live. Putting all that work into a spot that high. All right, so pretty much all of the main popular trails and hikes at uh, Mesa Verde are closed except for two. One of them is the Soda Canyon Overlook Trail which is one of the few trails that you can actually see the balcony house from. So we are heading on it. I've always wanted to see these cliff dwellings. I always wanted to be able to get up close and really see it, which obviously isn't going to happen um, with the tours being closed. But one good thing about that, you can get all the pictures and video you want of these places, at least from a slight distance, with nobody in it. Typically when you're here and tours are running, there's so many people down there. You try to take pictures, they're just swamped in people. We don't have that problem this time, do we, Catfish? No, we don't. What do you think of this dry, arid, hot climate up here? I okay, at one point it's cool, but the upper side it's also not cool because it's super hot. <laughs> You're like a catfish out of water. <laughs> that little skink is living on the edge. Literally. Amazing views, but it's difficult to find those dwellings. Let's zoom in. balcony house. Talk 
about a room with a view. This is Soda Canyon. I wish they had some trails that were open that takes you down to the bottom of it. But on the other hand, I'm really liking the fact that the park is so not crowded right now. With all the tours and everything being canceled and closed and the majority of the trails closed off, the place is not crowded at all and we have these views to ourselves. Yeah, we do. That's pretty awesome. What if, catfish, just bear with me for a minute here. What if this isn't a canyon from erosion? What if it's where an ancient meteor or spaceship crashed into the earth and came down at that angle and, went and dug this out? Whoa. And that alien was Bigfoot. Well, there you have it, folks. That is our little adventure here at Mesa Verde National Park. It's not a lot open, but it's still pretty darn cool. What'd you think about it, Catfish? I found it interesting how the people just managed to build those house-like structures right on the side of the cliffs. Yeah, it looked really dangerous, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty gnarly how they did that. Um, and just, I don't know, it's just the views in the, inside those canyons was beautiful. And the fact that it had those old ancient uh, structures just made it even more cool. And the park road through this mountain and all, uh, it just had, it offers some amazing views. That alone is worth coming here. All right? Yep. All right. Well, onward we go. Next adventure. Till next time, folks. Peace, Peace out. out.